If you're a big fan of rigid tools, you're gonna love today's video. This fan has features that the competitors are removing at a price point that's cheaper. I don't know how they're doing it over at rigid. I gotta tell you, I went from not particularly liking rigid tools to maybe becoming a fan. <laughs> no, I wouldn't go that far. But let's tell you all about this thing. This is Rigid's 18 volt hybrid job site fan. It'll run on any Rigid 18 volt battery or an extension cord. They're claiming 40% more airflow with 670 CFM and 1,070 FPM. I don't even, I don't even know what the FPMs are. They claim over seven hours of runtime at max speed and 10 different mounting options. Plus you're getting free parts and service with a lifetime service agreement. Registrations required with rigid. That's like not ratcheting. There's no way to loosen it up. No, it's okay. Unlike some other fans, it's not really, there's no ratcheting as you adjust it. It's just toit like a tiger as you spin it. It will not spin back fully, but it's a perfect position if it's gonna be down low. You'll see, you have your speed control. Let's put a battery on this thing. Let's take a look and see what we get. I guess you need to see if it will blow my hairs. Yo, that's speed one. Not bad. Does it make that noise? Hello. Yeah, it does. That's crazy. Speed two. Three. Four. Wow. Five. When you put the battery on, it blocks the inlet for the cord. So you can't have both and you can't charge a battery. That would be cool, but you can't. My hat's off to you, Rigid, for making such a powerful fan. This seems pretty nice, but we forgot one thing. How does it operate when you use the inlet? So we have a standard grounding extension cord. We pop it in. Wow. I feel like I hear an audible difference, like it's more powerful with the cord. You hear that? Is it more powerful with the cord? Or is it my old man imagination? Leave it down in the comment section below. You can see we have a mounting point here. We have a mounting point here. They spin, they're adjustable. That's two. We have a mounting point here. Looks like a quarter 20. Uh, we have some uh, P-Mod here and here. So that's like five. How many, how many mounting points are they claiming? I guess they're gonna count this handle as a six. What's one? Two. Three. I'm gonna call this four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, nine, ten is like ten. Ten is that what? You know, leave it down in the comments if you if you so dare, rigid. Tell us about your tell us about your mounting points. How are you claiming these ten? Because I'm not seeing it in any of the literature and all. But if you want to see a video where I tell rigid executives that I'm not a fan of their tools, you can go to this video right over here. It gets real awkward.